Hello everybody, this is Double Pulse and welcome to another commentary video. So I'm going to be flat out and honest and say that for gaming, I didn't really have a huge interest in the Oculus Rift or any VR headset for that matter. However, when I heard that the Oculus Rift was going to be $600, any of the remaining interest I had for this thing just went down the freaking drain. See, I don't hate the idea of the VR headsets. They are a great idea, and for what it can do, they're probably going to be an amazing device. However, for me at least, I think video games, it's going to be a niche market. It's more of a novelty if you can afford it, and I just don't see it being practical putting on a headset and looking around while using your controller. I mean, there are some games that are being designed for it, and are keeping the design uh, with it in mind, and they are coming out with a you know a touch controller that's going to work with the Oculus Rift. It's just for me, I might just get a damn headache and turn the thing off. So you could already say this thing isn't for everyone. Now, many YouTubers have discussed the price, and unless you have money to blow, or you are a gaming YouTuber who has a connection to get one at a cheaper f price or even free, six hundred dollars is kind of a lot to ask for for a peripheral headset to play video games on. I mean, even 300 is kind of pushing it. But when the Oculus founder said that the VR headset, even at $600, is obscenely cheap, I said, nope, nope, no way. Maybe for a person who has money to blow, but not for some freaking average Joe like me. So, there is a section of an article that I'm taking from VG27 that notes that the Oculus head, Palmer Lucky, believes that the price of the VR headset is obscenely cheap for what it is. He continues that the high-end VR is expensive, but even with the $600 price point, the company isn't making money off of Rift hardware. He's also touched on the price differences between region, and he assured that the public wasn't artificially bloated. In UK and Europe, the headset will cost around four ninety nine or six ninety or nine euros, and as high as nine hundred and twenty dollars in Australia. We have to cover the required taxes. The sales tax in the U.S. work differently, as we have a per state sales tax. In fact, some countries are actually getting a better deal than the U.S. All things considered. Now, mind you, it's not a huge deal. He just worded a slightly better deal. So the article is kind of long, and I will leave a link in the description below so you guys could read the article on your own time. But he slowly brought up the fact that uh, you know early shipments of the Rift have sold out, and how there's fraudulent orders that are being placed out for this thing, and how they're weeding everything out, and they apologize for anybody who has order issues. Also, the Oculus Rift is going to come with a remote cables, a sensor, wireless Xbox One controller, and adapter so the controller could be used for Windows 10 to stream Xbox One games. It also comes with Valkyrie and Lucky Tail. To some extent, I kind of see what he's talking about. I mean, there are charts that are also comparing this to older consoles or some shit. And to make it somewhat fair, when the first generation of iPads came out, what was the asking price? Somewhere around $500 for it. You know, it was the first of its kind. And this goes for the Oculus Rift or any VR headset. So we don't have any of those features. Uh, we didn't have any of those features on the iPad that we do now. But the thing is, when you buy an iPad, at least it works out of the box. When you buy... An Oculus Rift, on the other hand, you're going to need a $800 PC to use it. I mean, shit, there was an article I was saying you're going to need an NVIDIA GTX 970, which is a $300 plus graphics card from what I heard. Uh, you're going to need several USB ports to be open. You're going to need a whole lot of shit. And I think another thing that kind of upsets me about this is that this thing could be good uses in other places and the first thing that we think about is playing the latest video game with it and you know how it, like people like to talk about how tech is causing people to go anti-social well if that is the case this thing's not gonna make it any better i'm just saying 
However, before I end the video, though, there's one more point I wanted to make, is that when Facebook bought out the Oculus Rift, they're probably thinking, ooh, I would love to monopolize on this. And we all know that Sony is making a killing with the PS4, and it sold extremely well. Hell, it's still selling pretty damn good. And if people believe that $600 is way too much for this thing, imagine if Sony sees this complaint and decides to price their Project Morpheus or PlayStation VR headset at a lower price. This, they might actually have a chance, depending on how many people who have interest in this thing. And if the marketing is done right, they can compete pretty well. <clears throat> Especially the fact that so many people already have a PS4 and the headset should just work with a PS4, unlike the Oculus, which is going to probably need proper PC hardware and drivers to work with it. But anyway, this is all I have to say about this. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like and share it with people you know. And subscribe for more videos in the future. And I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.